Hello all you amazing and wonderful people, welcome back to the channel, I stand alone gaming, and today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy VII the Remake. So in the last episode we exited the sewer, got the achievement for completing chapter 10, we're now on chapter 11, and in the train graveyard. Uh, at the end of the episode we ran into a ghost that literally tried to murder us, and we are trying to find a way out of this area. So, still open, let's go see if we can escape, and of course, we are trapped. She's going to have a little cutscene. Sounds like trouble. If you come in, just run down. They try their best to make it seem somewhat scary. Once you come upstairs, grab the boxes. It's going to say come on into this door, but let's be honest, we know this door is not going to open. Womp womp. That means we got to go all the way over here. And before we go in to the office... We're going to head down the uh, stairs over here. There's going to be a fight. Pretty sure there's an item. Let's go. At this point, I recommend putting on um, arrow. At least for now. Uh, I think we'll have to change over for the boss fight. Ooh, Aerith took him out. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put on arrow real quick. Fire materia is getting pretty up there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put on arrow. I mean, they're both pretty up there, so. MP up, MP up. Nah, you know what? We're going to leave it the way it is. I mean, it would be beneficial to level up the um, wind one as well, but so the uh, not studded bracer, gothic, there it is. So we can go ahead and put this on Tifa if we wanted to, but we're going to go ahead and move her link then if that's the case. Oh, apparently she didn't have one. So we're just going to go ahead and put on the gothic bracelet or a bangle. This gives her an extra slot. We can put on pretty much anything. Um, I think we're going to put on. I think we're going to put on steel. Um, we're going to need to use this in the future. Um, definitely on the next boss fight or not next boss fight, the boss fight after the next boss fight. Uh, so two boss fights from now. You can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I can speak in riddles, but. So yeah, we head back up after getting that. Go into this office. This one should be open.
Problem solved. Easy fight. Now we just head out this way. Follow the balcony. Now if you look over to the left, there is an item over there. We're going to go get that. Simple fight. Go through this door. I think there's another fight. Maybe not. Head out this door. Grab your item. Open this door. This will unlock it. And then we head back towards the other side. Pretty sure if you go upstairs, that door will be locked. Our road is blocked that way. That means we have to go down. Before we head up the ladder, this item. Head across. As soon as we get across, I'm pretty sure there's a fight. So we can hear some music playing already. Boxes, head upstairs. So we got a vending machine right up there, but we're not going to go there just yet. There's another item here. Ooh, thousand gill. We're gillionaires. Haha. <laughs> head in here. You can open this door now. Pretty sure this unlocks it. Another item. This gives us a Moogle medal, which I mean isn't extremely important, but always nice to have. Then all we gotta do is head up, rest up, and buy our music. Now, if this is any any indication, typically you have a rest zone before most boss fights. And with that being said, once we enter the next room, it will be a boss fight. So go ahead and save now. Be safe. Get this. Can buy some cheap mega potions. Can't really hurt there, actually. 300 gil for it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Probably never gonna use them, but I'm a item hoarder. I don't know if you've noticed or if you've watched any of my other videos, but pretty much I hoard items as long as possible uh, and try to find any way not to use them. Don't know why I do this. They clearly have an abundance of most of them. Um, other than like maybe others and turbo weathers and stuff like that. But healing items are plentiful in most RPG games, but yet I never use them. So is what it is. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and save it real quick. And we're going to head into this. One thing I do recommend before you jump into this fight, you can put, I think it's fire. 
think each one should be equipped with fire. I'm going to go ahead and do it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure we're going to do fire for everybody. It says she has fire equipped. It's weird. Must be on another item. Real quick, I just want to make sure that everyone has what they need. And equipping that didn't take it off anybody else. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure you assess the boss. Try to remind everyone and myself. Why so angry? I don't have time for your shit. All right, so this guy basically has two phases. Phase one, which is right now, and he's weak to, um, sorry, weak to uh, physical damage. And then phase two, well, I mean, it's not really phases. He has two different, um, oof, definitely want to avoid that next time. Too busy trying to talk. So, uh, ouch. Maybe I should stop trying to talk and actually do the fight, but. So he has this phase where he's weak to physical attacks. And then once he switches and you get him pressured, he will do uh, weak to magic attacks. So you need both magic Here we go. and physical attacks. Go ahead and have Aerith heal again. We're just healing for this. Go on. Mind taking over? I'll take care of them. Take over for 
do it. Go, staggered baby. Come on, team. Watch Get this. Up. Finish it. Huh? Well, that sucks. It's hoping to finish out the stagger. But yeah, once he turns ethereal, seems like magic is the only thing that hits him. Ethereal, ethereal, whatever you want to call it. Potato, potato. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. Really? Oh, get out of that. Of course. So it's my turn? You've got this. Let's do this. Here we go. Sorry. Of course. Why wouldn't you be immune? Go ahead and heal. Be nice if we could uh, get some fucking fight in here. Like, <laughs> no more nice. Aerith, go ahead and use your limit. Why not? As soon as you're going to go use an ability. And now it's magic again. Finish him off. Let me teach him a lesson. There we go. Obtained orb of subversion. That was fun. All this time, you were waiting for someone to come and play with you. What are you talking about? Come on, let's get back to the crane. All right. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and check out what their new materia is. Orb of Subversion. Allows you to use Breach and Dispel. Makes you resistant to instant death. Well, that's kind of nice. All right, this should allow us to unlock this door. They said head back to the crane, which is downstairs. They literally just run through here. 
ever find their way back home again. What do you guys think would have happened if they caught us? I wonder. Maybe they're the ones who were caught. Can we just drop the hole? What if they're trapped here and can't leave? Oh, wait. I think I got to move the train first. That's my fault. Being a dummy. I'm going to head up there and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so here we are at the crane. This is where we needed to go. Going to move the train and then we got to go back downstairs. Just like we hoped. What a relief. We should be able to get through now. Let's find out. Of course we can. Head back down, hop into this train, and go to the left. Pretty sure both these doors are locked. And then we go this way. Now, as you can see, there's one more item over there. But I'm pretty sure there's one more fight in order to get it. So we got two lesser drakes. It's on you. Nothing to worry about. Don't let him stop us. go now you can assess those guys if you haven't already but we access those way back in like chapter two or three so we should have lesser drakes Time here. What was that about? Read. We need to worry about. Let's get going. All right, let's head on out. Rest on the bench if you need to. Clearly, we need to. Just have to head over here. 
I don't know why it won't let me run. Oh, it's moving. Maybe sure is. The other side. Keep your cool. No need to worry. No holding back. That's that. So long. That'll do. Pretty sure we assessed these rats already, but let's throw another one. As we waste it. Going in. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Go ahead and use triple slash. Boom! Just like that, we're done. Grab these boxes. Probably use cure. Everybody's full. Love to see it. Make sure you're grabbing his chest. And we are good to go. So let's head up to here. A couple more things we need to do before the end. Hey, do you think these trains might still run? Could give it a try. Good call. Looks like it still works. I knew it. have anything to say about it all we can do now is keep moving please please let us be in time all right so as you can see devastation is pretty much all but um declared and uh yeah hopefully we get there in time but in order to do that we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here Hopefully you guys enjoyed following along with the playthrough. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos of Final Fantasy VII or the playthrough, getting 100% trophies and items, please subscribe to my channel. You'll just simply get notifications. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'd greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care.